Hey there, my friends, Eric Andreas, your guitar sage here with the number one thing that will literally get you finger picking within five minutes. And in fact, I think it'll be less than that, even though this video may be longer, less than five minutes, you will literally be finger picking, okay? Now, um, what I've noticed when I'm teaching students uh, how to finger pick is inevitably, when they go to finger pick, they always come over here and they grab some sort of cord. Makes sense, you see both guitar, both hands on the guitar uh, when, when, when folks are finger picking, right? There's always this chordal thing that we gotta do over here. But when we're learning how to finger pick, it's a good idea to take your hand off of the neck whatsoever. And I'll tell students this 10, ten times in a row in my lessons sometimes and they'll go to pick an exercise and they'll grab a chord here. And I'm talking about fresh beginners, never finger picked before. So there is a mental thing that makes us just do this. It must be muscle memory or something. But in today's lesson, what I want you to do is I want you to take your guitar and I want you to make it flat and lay it on your lap just like this. Because the exercise you're going to be doing today is just going to be using the right hand or just the fret, the, the picking hand, I should say, for those that are lefties. Now, first off, I'm going to show you what finger should go where and then we'll, then we'll flip the guitar on its uh, back again. Okay, so first off, the thumb technically should take care of strings six, five, and four, okay? These are rule of thumb. Uh, this, this, this is a rule of thumb that's about the thumb. So six, five, four, okay? And strings three, two, one should be played by fingers one, two, three, just like this. So what you could do is lay your finger, put your first finger on that third string, second finger on the second string, and the third finger on the first string. And that's what you want to do there and take your thumb and rest that on the sixth, fifth, or fourth string. That's called resting position. Well, let's put it on the sixth string for right now. So that's your resting position. And you're not going to move your fingers from there for this, for this video, okay? Now, that's a good place to just rest your hand. Now, you can lift your hand off and you can take your thumb and put it there on that sixth string. Take your uh, ring finger and put it right there on the first string. By the way, uh, for those that are you know, finger pickers, this is P-I-M-A, you may see that. But right for this video, we're just gonna be saying thumb, one, two, three, okay? Um, I have more about that, actually. Uh, if you hit the link below, that'll take you to my um, you know, finger picking uh, finger picking mastery simplified, if you will, uh, a, a PDF that you can download for free that will give you all sorts of exercise and a more in-depth view about finger picking. Okay, so uh, there we go. So we got thumb, one, two, three. Okay, and that's called resting position. So you, at any time, you can grab the guitar and you can kind of pinch with the thumb and the index finger, and you can find your resting position by just doing that. You don't even have to look. Boom. Look, Ma, no hands, or look, Ma, no eyes. Um, so there, I grab that, right? And then I can take my second finger and find that first string and feel my way up to that third string, okay? So that's what we call resting position right there. Then what you're gonna do is, because you're gonna be tempted to play a chord, and come over here, lay the guitar flat on its back like this to where you can visually look down and see any mistakes that you may make. You don't have to jump right away to not looking at the guitar. This is a mistake that a lot of guitarists make in the beginning. Don't worry about looking. Look all day long. You've got eyes. They're there for something. They're there for a reason. So use them to help you navigate the guitar. Later on, you'll naturally be able to not look as much, okay? So then what you want to do is you want to pick. This is the sixth string. Three, two, one, and then two, three again. So again, it's going to go, these are string names, by the way, or string numbers. Six, three, two, one, two, three. The high E string is, is the one. Six, three, two, one, two, three, six, three, two, one, two, three. Now your job for practicing is to play this as accurately as possible. Now obviously this speed may be a little boring to you and you want to throw some chords in right away, but I would advise you to take your time with this and get good at it because it's the jumping the gun 
that's the kiss of death for guitar players. So over time, you'll be able to play this and be able to look down at your hand and this will become very second nature to you. Now, this one pattern here might get a little boring for you. That's okay. Um, because that PDF, that free PDF that you can get below is going to help you with some of those other patterns. So make sure you dig into this, have a lot of fun, get the free PDF. Uh, for those of you that want a more in-depth study of guitar, I've got the first 30 lessons that I teach all my one-on-one -on -one students here in Nashville. I have those posted for free. You can hit that at the link below as well. Uh, that's over a thousand dollars worth of lessons that I give out for free for folks just because I want to help folks learn how to play guitar. So make sure you check that out. There's a free ebook on that website as well at yourguitarsage.com actually. Make sure you go to yourguitarsage.com, um, download the free ebook. I also give all these books away. So I have a ton of free stuff for you. Take advantage of me. I love it. Uh, I'm on Twitter and Facebook and all that good stuff. So you could hit me up there if you have any questions or leave a comment below. If you like this video, Thumbs up, hit subscribe, all that good stuff. Um, as always, please spay and neuter your animals. Be kind to one another because, dadgone it, kindness literally can transform this world. That and a lot of justice. But lots of kindness, okay? Spay and neuter your animals. Be kind to one another and don't trust the man. So you yeah.